Uh, Rico, wow, were you ever amazing in this film? And you know, you talk to Guillermo, you know what you're in for, but when you got on that set, did you really know what you were in for? Oh. <laughs> yeah. But you know, <laughs> when my performance was good, Guillermo, you know, always would, you know, get so happy and motivated me work harder. You know, he's such a loving person. He really is. I mean, yeah. he is. I've never seen anyone as a director more excited right. about what he does. Tell me about working with somebody like that. You know, there's no uh, director like Guillermo. You know, it's I love him, and then I I just wanna make his happy. You know, and then when it's like he's always show me like you know, oh this is fantastic, wrinkle awesome, you know. And then that's much better. Me work hard, of course. Yeah. You know, I love him, and then um, I would just I'd love to work with him again and soon. Well, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Yeah. I understand that you were even tougher than the guys making this. Okay, they were wusses. Let's just let's just call a spade a spade. Okay, so you get into this con pod. It's basically what a 12-hour workout per day. Yeah. Just tell me a little bit about the experience of, you know, what you have to do in this film. Right, we, you know, some, um, some scene, we, 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 we were attached to the, the, the control of the robot, and then they, they would pull the, the tons of the water and spark for uh, four hours. You know, it's, sometimes I lose my concentration, but, uh, you know, Guillermo would sing, uh, sing the theme from Totoro, with Japanese, or like you know, he's she's such a you know sweet and loving person, and of and also Charlie, always you know looking out for me. I was okay, you know, making sure I was okay, and then like you know, I really I love this team, you know, and then like so um, they got you through it. Yes. How else did you get through it? Did you have to, like, when you're all kind of closed in on this thing and you're in this suit and the helmet and everything, do you have to kind of, do you kind of in your own mind kind of close your eyes and drift and think of something else? Yes, um, actually, <laughs> you know, it's the most physically demanding shoot of my career. So it's totally hard for me. But sometimes I ate tons of chocolate. I ate tons of chocolate. <laughs> And I was thinking about like, you know, so when I get in home and bed, you know, it's just, I just, I just thinking, thinking out of it because it's, it's really hard, right, yeah. to do that. Yeah. yeah, well, I commend you. You did a fantastic job. And you also had a great physical scene with Charlie when you're doing the stick fighting. Yeah. How do you prepare for, for stuff like that? How long do you have to work to, to make it look so good? Yeah, before shooting, almost two months, we spent the time, the, uh, the training with the martial arts. Um, and then also the time we can, you know, we can build up our relationship. So I think it's uh, also really good for the shooting, you know? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about, first of all, I want to talk about Charlie Hunnam because he's such a, a lovely guy, nice person, not bad to look at, you know, tough life you had there. Tell me about working with Charlie. He is our best partner ever. I, I you know, actually I couldn't have done this movie without him because, uh, you know, he was, looking out for me, making sure I was okay. And it's, it's you know, because for women, it's really hard uh, to, 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 you know, to, you know, to move in the, you know, the cockpit, in the, in the cockpit, because the our suits were really heavy and the mechanical arm, which was really very heavy too. And Guillermo, I think the, you know, made them very real, very heavy, because our performance, you know, would be more real. And then I could feel like, wow, this is a real fight. And Idris Elba, wow, another great guy to work with. But, I, I, you know, he's, he's a leader in this movie. Was he also a leader on set? What was it like to work yes. with him? Um, he is versatile. And, um, and also he would try, many different ways to uh, draw my emotion out for me.
it, and then it's worked. Uh, so yeah, he is so versatile, and then I love working with him. Yeah, yeah. It was it must have been interesting for you because being one of the only women on the set. Yeah. I hope the guys treated you nicely. <laughs> They're really nice, super nice. <laughs> Are you a fan of these types of films? Yes. Tom, I, do you have course. recollections of watching, you know, these kinds of movies? Yeah, I'm I'm Japanese, so I grew up with a lot of monster movie, robot movie since I when I was a kid, like Godzilla, you know? And so it's being part of this movie is dream come true. It's like and then I can't wait to I can't wait my family to, to see this movie. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna ask you how your family must have oh felt. My God. Very excited. Yes, I'm so excited. Yeah. And then they're so excited too. I'm sure, yeah. yeah. You, well, they'll be proud of you. You did a, a very, very good job. Hey. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, okay, so in the film, your partner, your co-pilot, you have to drift, you have right. to mind meld. Who in real life would you want to be your co-pilot? Guillermo. You would want to mind meld with him? Why? <laughs> Why do you think? What would you see inside that brain of Guillermo? Because I want to share, right? And then, um, I, I, last night, I saw his idea note. That was amazing. He drew like every like a specific robot or detail. You know, I just, I just want to share his idea or where it comes from, you know. He's amazing. His drawings are mm. absolutely Absol spectacular. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And then so, and also like a little like a creature. It's really cute and I'm like, and then really original. Yeah. And genius. this movie, like, you know, oh, totally it's original. Yeah. It's genius. You shot in Toronto. Did you have fun there? It was. It was fun. And then food, that's really good. And then most of the Canadians are really nice and kind. I can say, right? Of course. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. I'm from Toronto. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad. I hope we treated you well there. Uh, coming up next, you're going to have a film um, with actually another Canadian with Keanu Reeves. Yes. How did you like working with him? It was great. He is such a nice guy. And then, like, we draw some uh, picture, like a picture, draw some picture. It's just, it, and uh, when we were having free time, you know, he's not really nice. And then we just talking about like a healthy food and like, that was great. Good stuff. When did you know you wanted to act? Were you a little girl? Do you rec recollect what made you decide you wanted uh, to be an actor? I, actually, I was, um, I was discovered when I was walking on the, on, on, walking on, walking down the street when I was 15 years old. And then it's a funny thing uh, is my mom, uh, my mom happened the same way. Really? Uh, yeah, and then also my, my family loved film and then I watched, you know, a lot of film with them. And, you know, I, I can, I wanted to be all the things, you know, it's from, comes from uh, movies. Yeah. 